So before we get started, uh, I'm going to invite everyone because we still have a, a, a minute or no, we don't have a minute, whatever, we have time. Um, if you have a scarf or a blanket or something like that, that you can use to just kind of drape over yourself, um, the, the uh, like prayer shawl as a, an item um, is, I wouldn't say universal, but a relatively like well-worn ritual item around the world. And obviously it's a major one for, uh, for Jews. Um, it's because it, I mean, as soon as you drape something like this around your shoulder, you feel it. It feels like you're getting a nice little hug. It feels comforting. Even if it's just a little bit of weight, it feels really nice. So it's a good way to help center yourself. And um, maybe not this week, because I didn't give you any time to prep, but for the future, having one item that you use for this, um, and maybe you could buy a new one or just find a scarf that you really like or something like that, um, is really helpful because having that kind of regularity in a spiritual practice and like having an item charged with that intention uh, is a, a real good way to deepen your practice. It reminds your body every time you put it on what you're about to do and helps you um, be prepared to sink into that mental and spiritual state more quickly. Um, uh, that's, I, I say the same thing about tefillin. Um, as well. I haven't actually been wrapping them very frequently recently, and maybe maybe next week or the following week, um, I'll wrap them and show you how it's done. And uh, just as a, because it, just as a, an example, um, and maybe you can come up with something similar, because it's another very specific physical object and physical practice that goes along with Jewish prayer, um, that then primes the mind and the body for a very specific um, experience. Uh, and it may kind of light bulb you into something completely different than to fill in, but something that you could maybe do that would help you build that practice as well. Um, so enough of me just chatting. Let me pull up my sidur that I use as kind of a guide and we'll get going. Um, and just to begin, find yourself in a comfortable position. And I have to find myself a comfortable position as well. I'm not that comfortable yet. One that your body feels supported, that you don't feel like you have to strain to keep it in any um, particular way. Um, let your shoulders relax. Hopefully let your lower back release. Um, Another good thing to do is to maybe think about activating your lower abs as a way of holding your body up. Sometimes it, it takes doing that mindfully to uh, make that happen. Let's just take a few deep breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth. Imagine each deep breath going directly into your core. Bringing with it peace. Relaxation. That very particular kind of energy that comes from feeling at peace and relaxed with nothing else to do. So that you don't, you don't let yourself go too inactive. You don't wanna fall asleep, unless you do and that's okay. But feeling that slow, low thrum of energy that comes with checking in with your body. You take the next few deep breaths, track them down through your lungs and imagine the oxygen spreading out, spreading out to your feet, to your toes, down through your thighs, through your knees. And if you're sitting in a position where you can, maybe stretch your legs out, stretch your feet out, 
rotate your ankles, just feeling yourself come into your body while being fully relaxed within it. And continue presencing yourself in your body. As I chant Elohai Neshama, the morning prayer for awakening, for gratitude for having awakened, and for gratitude for breath. Elohai Neshama Shinatata Bi Tehorahi Atavarata Tayatsarta Atan Fakta Bi Vata Mishamra De Kirbi Kosma Neshama De Kirbi Moderni Nefanecha Adonai, Elohe, Elohe, Avotai, Vimotai, Ribon, Kol Hamasim, Adon, Kol Hanishamot, Baruch Atah Adonai, Asher Beyado, Nefesh kochai, Ruach My soul came to me pure, drawn from the reservoir of the holy. All the time it remains within me, I am thankful for its thirst for compassion and justice. Let my eyes behold the beauty of all creatures. Let my hands know the privilege of righteous deeds. Now that we've awakened our breath, awakened ourselves to our breath and to our body, I wanna draw all our minds to the time we are in. Regardless of your estimation of the quality of the shift that has taken place in our country and world over the past weekend, um, a shift has taken place. And anytime something big happens like this, um, as we know it echoed throughout the world, literally, uh, the entire human race realigns. We are, I believe, all connected um, through a subconscious force through a force that we all draw upon together. And the energy in that entire collectivity has shifted now. And just like any energy shift, just like why our holidays are all aligned with seasons, it's good to be mindful of that shift. Um, whether it's a celebratory shift or a pensive shift, being mindful that we are participating in a wider human field of energy and that that impacts us in our days uh, is really important. And that's what really meditation and, and prayer is for. So as we go through the next pieces of our meditation this morning, remember that if your mind feels a little uh, staticky or your body feels a little less at ease or you feel different, maybe even just a little bit more tired, a little bit less focused, it's okay. We're all going through this shift now together. And this practice of bringing yourself into your body, of connecting with your breath will help you remain stable through that shift. So draw back into your breath and through your nose, out through your mouth. And focus your breath into your mind, focus your attention into your mind. That powerful organ 
that drives our actions and our ability to distinguish between good and evil, night and day, yes and no, up and down. And take a moment to presence gratitude for your capacity to do so, your capacity to distinguish between two things, three things, four things. To be mindful of the difference in quality of day and night and all binaries that allow you to choose to make choices for yourself. And presence the gratitude for that choice. Remember things could be different. We could not have that choice. We could be functionally automatic, but we have that choice and that is a blessing gifted to us. Now with a deep breath, open your eyes, focus them on something. You can focus them on the computer, you can focus them on your window or out your window on whatever you want. And no matter the quality of your eyesight, remember the gratitude you have for being able to see, even if that sight is not what it once was or not what you would like it to be, the fact that you can bring in light through your eyes and discern something about the world, anything. And that it could be otherwise. Now I invite you to focus on your hands, your fingers, your arms, stretching them out. Maybe stretching them over your head, leaving your body to and fro, forward and back. And you have whatever range of movement you have this morning, you have that range of movement. You're not captive in a lesser range of movement. That range of movement that you have this morning in and of itself is a blessing. I invite you to presence gratitude to be able to move your body. Then I invite you to readjust your sitting position once more, to straighten your back, hold yourself up with your core and with your back, to feel that capacity to be upright, that strange quality of humanity that we strive to stand upright when so few other creatures really do. When we could be like most mammals and be on all fours, there's this strange quality we have of uprightness. It gives us a different perspective on the world and the way that we function in within it, a very particular perspective. I invite you to presence gratitude for that, for that uprightness, that feeling that we get when we sit up straight. Now, the opposite edge of our bodies. If you can, put your feet on the floor, push down on them and feel the solidness of the floor beneath, beneath you. And although it may seem a bit extreme, remember, not the floor, the ground is not always solid. Sometimes there are earthquakes or sometimes you walk outside and your feet sink into the mud and it's harder to walk than it should be. I invite you to presence gratitude as much as you can for something so small, but so important to us, the way in which our ground holds us up. Our solid ground allows us to be upright. And then the opposite side of that as well is our feet. They hold us stable. They allow us to stand on them. They hold us up through the day. They get us through our walks. They move us from place to place. And so often we 
take them for granted. And anyone who has had any kind of foot injury knows once you lose the capacity to stand on your feet, a lot changes. I invite you to once again, maybe do circles with your ankles and curl up your toes, feel the muscles in your feet. And if you can, think thank you to your feet for all they do for you, the fact that they bear your weight throughout the day. Now, if you've got a shawl or a scarf or a sweater or a jacket or whatever you brought to help aid the prayer, wrap it around you a little more tightly for just a second. Take a deep breath and feel it on your body. Feel the weight of it, making you feel secure and comforted and warm. And express gratitude, bring gratitude to your mind, to your heart, to your gut for the fact that you have that which keeps you warm and safe. You have clothing that allows you to feel comforted in the cold and dignified in public. And that you are able to maybe have this one object that even brings you an extra extra modicum of comfort during meditation. Now I invite you to go back to where we began, presencing our breath through our bodies. And flex the muscles in your face, scrunch them up, scrunch up your nose, maybe tighten your jaw. Bend your neck back and forth, feeling the muscles in your neck that keep your head straight. If you can, slowly go through your muscular system while you're breathing, tightening and releasing each muscle with each flexing and each release, trying to remember that it could be that we weren't able to control these aspects of our body. We didn't have this strength, but we do. Presence and gratitude for that strength in our body. No matter how at odds we may feel with our body for various things, for various aches and pains, maybe even for various cosmetic reasons. It is our partner throughout this life. It holds us. It allows us to travel through our material world. It allows us to interact with the things around us. No matter how you feel about your body, try to take a moment to thank it for all that it does for you, for how it allows you to be. It holds you in this world the whole time you're here. And now, invite you, well, I'm going to take off my glasses. If you're wearing glasses, I invite you to do so as well. Just rub your eyes a little bit. Wipe the sleep from them. Remember, you're starting a day of wakefulness. And this universal human activity of wiping your eyes as you wake up, to awaken your eyes, to awaken your body. Reminds us that everywhere, all over the world, everyone who wakes up has that moment of getting adjusted into this material world from sleep into this energetic field that we all reach into with our consciousness. Take a moment to express gratitude for having awoken today, 
be conscious of wakefulness for the slumber having left your eyelids. And now that we've gotten ourselves present, we've thanked our bodies, we've thanked our wakefulness, we've gotten grateful for our clothing. We remember that each of us, our Torah tells us, is made in the image of God. And there's all kinds of different interpretations of what that might mean. And I invite you to think about what that might mean for you this morning for a moment. Praise to you, Adonai, our God, sovereign of the universe, made me in the image of God. I invite you to settle back into your breathing and think about what your image of God is, what it means for you to be in the image of God, you yourself. I invite you to continue taking a few deep breaths as you contemplate what that means for you. What does it mean to be made in the image of God? Now I invite you to take that a step further. Think about what it means for you to be Yisrael, you to be a Jewish person, what that has done for you in your life, maybe both positive and negative, what Yisrael Torah tells us means, one who struggles with God means for you, especially being made in the image of God, to then struggle with God. Blessed are you, Adonai, our God, sovereign of the universe, who has made me a Jew. I now invite you to take some sharper breaths, just as deep, but maybe a faster intake. This kind of breath you can feel immediately energizes the body, gives you strength, wakes you up. Do whatever I'm rolling my shoulders because I'm feeling tension there and also feeling my wakefulness coming there. I invite you to take some faster breaths to wake yourself up. Start bringing yourself out of meditation. I praise to you, Adonai, our God, sovereign of the universe. Birds, Israel with strength brings us strength in our days, gives us the ability to focus, to focus our energies on that which is most important to us.
And as we presence our strength and bring that energy back into our bodies, bring your attention right to the middle of your forehead. And ask yourself, what is the thing I want to accomplish today? What does this day hold in store for me? Where can I focus my energies best during this day? For me, for my loved ones, for the world? Ask yourself that and then as much as you can, bring silence to your mind and allow whatever answers bubble up be they in words or pictures or feelings or sounds. Allow them to bubble into your mind as you continue to breathe energy into your body. Praise to you, Adonai, our God, sovereign of the universe, crowns Israel with splendor. In a moment, I'm going to um, give you all the option or the capacity to unmute. Before I do, I want you to think back to the past few blessings, the things that I asked you to think about most deeply and see if there's anything you wanna share, whether what it means to be made in the image of God, what it means for you to be a Jew in this day, or the message you received for where to focus your energy today. And as you all bring forth that Torah from deep within you, Stop with the stop the meditation, the meditation with a blessing for Torah. Baruch Atar Onai Elohimu Melech Haolam Sher Kidshanu Mitzvotav Itzivanu La Asok V'Divrei Torah. Blessed are you, Adonai, our God, Sovereign of the Universe, who hallows us with mitzvot, commanding us to engage with words of Torah. Now, gonna 